Oke, okay, the question is using mass analysis, find I0 in the circuit. Oke, okay, we have these three loops here, I1, and then I2, and I3. And what we are looking for is this I0 here, which is given here. Oke, okay, so we are asked to use mass analysis. So, we need to use KVL at all the loops. Oke. Okay. Let's do exactly that. Let's do KVL at loop I1. Uh, which says that the sum of the voltage in a loop will equal to zero. However, we will be very careful about the sign of the voltage. Okay. So now let's see what we get from here. Okay, the loop here, the current is going to the negative terminal to the positive terminal. So we will have the negative sign and then the magnitudes is 16. Good. And then we will have 4 ohm here. However, we need the voltage. So we multiply this resistance here by the current. So we will have I1 and then the current that goes to the opposite direction of I1 is I3 here. So we'll have minus I3, and then we will have 2, and because we work on I1, so I1 came first here, and then minus I2 here. Okay, that all good. Now all of that will equal to 0. Good. We will have 4 plus 2, that will be 6, 6 I2. And then we will have I2 here, so we will have minus I2, minus 2 I2. This one is, will be I1. Good. And I3 only came from here, so we will have minus 4 I3. Okay, let's move this minus 16 to the right hand side, so we'll have 16 here. Let's have this as equation number 1. Good. And now let's do another KVL, but this time at loop number 2. Let's do exactly that. KVL at loop I1. I mean I2. Okay, the sum of the voltage in a loop will equal to 0. And here we start with this 2 ohm resistor, so we'll have 2 ohm. But remember, this is a resistor, we need voltage, so we multiply it by the current. So we multiply it by I2. But here I1 is flowing to the opposite direction, so we'll have minus I2. Okay, that is good. And then plus we will have 8 multiplied by I2. We'll have I2 here. But then I3 is flowing to the opposite direction, so we'll have minus I3. Good. And then we go into this dependent voltage source, and the current is going from the negative terminal to the positive terminal. So we'll have the negative sign, and then the magnitude is 10 I0. So we we'll have 10 I0 here, which is equal to 0. However, here we have I0 is this one, and I3 is this one, and this is the only current that pass through 6 ohm, and I3 also the only current that pass through 6 ohm. And both are in the same direction, so we can have that I0 is equal to I3, right? So we can replace this one, I0 here, with I3. Okay, let's do exactly that. And then, what can we do? Okay, let's do some mathematics here. I1 only came from here, so we will have minus 2 I1. And then I2, which is 2 plus 8. Yeah, only 2 plus 8, so I will have plus 10 I2. And we will have minus 8, minus 10, that will be minus 18. So we will have minus 18 I3, and all of that will equal to 0. Good, and this is number 2. And let's move on to the last loops, which is loop I3. Let's do exactly that, KVL at loop I3. KVL said the sum of the voltage in a loop will equal to 0. 
good. Now we'll have this one here. We will have 6 ohm. And the only current that pass through it is I3. And then we will have 8 multiplied by the current, which is I3. But here, I2 is flowing to the opposite direction. So we'll have I2 here. Good. And then let's move to that 4. So we'll have 4 multiplied by I3. And then here, I1 is flowing to the opposite direction. So I'll have I1 here. All of that will equal to 0. Good. Now we will have minus 4I1. And then we will have minus 8I2. And 6 plus 8 is 14. 14 plus 4 is 20. So we'll have 20I3. Good. And all of that will equal to 0. And now we have three equations with three variables. Right? So we will have this equation, number 1. This equation is number 2. And this equation is number 3. And I think the fastest way to solve it is by using calculator. Okay, let's do exactly that. Let's set up our calculator here as equation solver, which is number 5. Three variables is number 2. And we'll have 6, then minus 2, and then minus 4, and then 16, which is good. And then we'll have minus 2, and then 10, and then minus 18, and then 0. Okay, we'll have minus 4, then minus 8 and then 20, and then 0. Good. We will have I1 here is equal to minus 8. So we will have I1 is equal to minus 8. And the unit here will be in ampere. And then what is I2? I2 will be minus 16. Okay. I2 will be minus 16 ampere. And then I3, what is I3? I3 is minus 8. Minus 8 ampere. Good, we have found all the loop currents. However, the question is asking about I0, which is this one. But we already have I0 here, which is equal to I3. So I0 is equal to minus 8 ampere. Okay, let's put this into a box and highlight so we know that this is the conclusion of this problem. Okay, hopefully I did not make any mistakes in my calculation. If I did, let me know. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.